by invitation. Mr. Johnson. I was head, head bowed, eyes closed, focusing on our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Heavenly Father, we come at this hour as humble as that we know how. We come, O oh God, just thanking you for being so good to us. You have blessed each and every family that we represent here tonight. Bless us both individually and collectively. Bless us in all areas of our life, Father. I ask your Father to look upon the elected official, crown their head with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the business at hand, and keep us in your keeping. And whatever we do here, the Lord, tonight, let it be decent and in order, and most of all, pleasing to thee. These are all best, and we thank you in your darling son, Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening. I wish to welcome you to this meeting of the mayor and board of aldermen. So, roll call to determine for Mr. Moore. Present. Mr. Johnson. Present. Mr. Nathan. Here. Mr. Armstrong. Here. Mr. Locke. Here. All present, Mayor. Thank you, Ms. Golden.
Item number four. At this time, I will entertain a motion to approve our previous minutes. May I make that motion? I second that motion, Mayor. Properly moved and second. Are there any questions? Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Item number five. Finance Committee Report Resolution 101347 Deals and Claims for the month of August 2010. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion that the Finance Committee Report Resolution 101347 Bills and Claims for the month of October 2010 be accepted. I make a second. It's properly moved and second. Are there any questions? Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carried. Item number six, resolution 101349, resolution commending Sherman Burrell upon retirement as captain of the police department. Mr. Burrell. I'm gonna step down and join you. Chief Black. say it. <laughs> uh, he was one of my, the first people I rode with when I came to the Baxter Police Department. And I won't tell you about our, our drive at night. <laughs> <laughs> but he's also responsible for getting me turned loose real, real quick. Uh, he uh, recommended to the chief that I go ahead and get put in the car pretty quick. I don't know, maybe he was just tired of riding with me. <laughs> <laughs> To the mayor, city council, I just like to thank you for letting me be able to serve you, along with my wife, my church, family, and friends, for 37 years. And I definitely could not do it without my family Amen. and church family. Amen. Thank Amen. you. Thank you. got that projection on it. Yeah, move to the left. Item number seven, ordinance 
104196 authorizing the borrowing by the city of Bastion, state of Louisiana, of $1,500,000 by the issuance of his revenue anticipation note series 2010, providing for the payment thereof, providing with respect to the rate of interest thereon, providing for a pledge and dedication of taxes and other revenues of said city for security and payment thereof in principal and interest and other matters in connection therewith. Bill Bowles and Steve Misaka. That was a mouthful. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, longer to talk about it than it will be for us to explain the terms. Uh, this is something that we do each year for you all, which we didn't, but because of the limited opportunities we have in revenue, which we're all working on to increase with your leadership and the councils. But uh, we, we t uh, put out the bids, and this year it was slightly, the winning bid, the winning qualified bid, was slightly higher than last year. It reflects the rates have ticked up a little bit lately, but still, this is very short-term money. It's the money that we use to even out, flatten out the revenue picture throughout the year because you collect most of your taxes, the, the ad valorem, the property taxes, at the end of the year. But your bills keep coming in every month. So this enables you to flatten it out and pay that, pay those bills. And so the rate this year, Steve, is three. The, the Washita Independent Bank, who was the same uh, uh, low bidder as lowest responsible bidder as last year, bid 3.025%. Uh, and, uh, and they're the lowest qualified bidder. And as a result, we, uh, we recommend uh, to you the adoption of the ordinance, the acceptance of their bid. I have one. You say it will be paid off prior to the duration of the loan? It will be paid off by, supposed to be paid off March 1st of next year. Thank you. At this time, I will entertain a motion on item number 7, ordinance 104196. I make a motion, Mayor. I second. Properly moved and second. Are there any questions? Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. You do so much for us. Uh, our privilege to serve. Matter and financial guidance, and I want to say this publicly that I really appreciate your expertise. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate the relationship with, with the city. Thank you. Years. Item number eight, Mark Rainwater, keep Morehouse beautiful, fall cleanup. Mayor and members of the board, uh, representing Keep Morehouse Beautiful, I'm here to update you on some projects that we've done uh, since the last time we spoke and outline some things that we have planned for the future. Ernest, don't run off because I'm going to need help figuring out how to run the PowerPoint, please. <clears throat> but what we would like to do is, uh, again, just kind of go over some things. I think we were here about a year ago and made a presentation to you uh, right after we had presented each member of the board, uh, the mayor, uh, and Mr. McKee with binders that outlined uh, some concerns that Keep Morehouse Beautiful had, um, not being nitpicky, but from the standpoint that um, beautification is part of the economic development. And I'm sure Ms. King could tell you that if, if she were still here. Um, many of you may remember several years. Oh, she is still here. I'm sorry. I'd, hey, Kay. Is it true? Beautification is important? Yes, it is. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Um, but I don't know if you remember several years ago, there was an automo auto manufacturer who came to Louisiana and, and toured our part of the state, toured northeast Louisiana, north Louisiana, and said that they couldn't possibly locate in a plant or locate a plant in a place where people didn't care any more about the environment than, than they did here. Uh, then Senator Robert Barham related that through the media. And we've used statements like that to fuel the efforts that we've done over the six to eight years that first the Beautification Committee and then Keep Morehouse Beautiful 
uh, have undertaken partnering with the city, with the Morehouse Parish Police Jury, with the Morehouse Parish Sheriff's Office. Um, we've competed in and won the Cleanest City Contest. We've finished a close second on a couple of occasions. And it's through those partnerships and the efforts of volunteers, some of whom are here with us tonight, uh, that we're able to make progress. Earlier today, we received a check from the Union Pacific Foundation for $1,800 to help with purchasing <coughs> dumpsters for a cleanup that we have slated for October 9th. Um, I believe it was about 10 days ago, Mayor, that we met with you and Mr. McKee and outlined uh, a little bit of a partnership in, in funding for those dumpsters. And I, I kind of chuckled because in, in our presentation, I made the point that, that I knew money was tight. I also know you got a million five just a second ago, so <laughs> <laughs> maybe the $300 for the dumpsters won't be so hard now. <laughs> but Ernest, uh, just the arrows will run the, okay. Um, greetings, we've been through that. Talk a little bit about the two 2010 fall cleanup. Um, we've had some learning experiences. We've learned things that worked and things that didn't work over the years. Um, this was the second year that we had divided the city into districts for each of the members of the board. And we asked that each member of the board uh, find volunteers in your district to help with cleanups. Those were done during the month of May. Um, one of the things that we found were very successful is the placement of dumpsters. We partner with Waste Management who gives us a, a considerable discount in the purchase of those dumpsters. And if we put them on the ground on Thursday, a lot of times by Friday morning they're full. Um, and that's a good thing. Um, as I stated, Earlier, we presented each member of the board with a binder, the mayor and Mr. McKee. And we've gone back since those binders were presented to you all about a year ago and, and looked at some of those circumstances and, and situations that we had outlined and have found that little progress has been made in a lot of those areas. Um, and so we're going to try and develop a better tool for us to work with each member of the board, with the city and with the Department of Public Works to address some of those areas. Um, this was also the second year that we had contest for the villages in the parish because our name is Keep Morehouse Beautiful. For a long time, it was Keep Bastrop Beautiful. And more specifically, it was keep a very specific area in Bastrop beautiful. As we take part in the statewide cleanest city contest, we can tell the judges where we would like them to go. And so a lot of our efforts were focused along the judging route. Uh, and it could be as clean as a surgery suite, but if you went two or three blocks off that route, it didn't look so good. Two years ago, we decided to live up to our name, to keep Morehouse beautiful. So in addition to the dumpsters for each of the board districts, we provided dumpsters for the villages of Benita, Collinston, Marouge, and Oak Ridge. And um, this year was uh, a very close competition between Marouge and Oak Ridge and Collinston. There were less than judges who judge the statewide contest volunteered their time to tour our parish and to judge our villages and our districts. And the competition was very close, but for the second year in a row, Oak Ridge was a winner. And we found that to be very, or uh, Marouge was a winner, excuse me. And we found that to be very successful. This year, we again entered the Cleanest City Contest. And, and as I stated just a moment ago, um, we're allowed to tell the judges the route that we would like them to tour. And we feel that that's not exactly productive because we can focus our efforts. You know, the judges drove the route. There was no trash, none, because we had gone out that morning uh, twice, in fact, I think, before the judges toured the route and picked up trash. People along the route did a, did a good job policing their areas, cleaning up their neighborhoods. But for us and the city to focus the effort and the attention on that route, 
isn't really productive, we don't feel. So it's quite likely that we will not enter the cleanest city contest in 2011. Um, dumpsters, as I said, are hugely successful. Um, and those will be part of our um, program for October 9th. Again, each member of the board um, will have the dumpsters in the same, lo same locations that we did in um, May during the contest. And we urge each of you to contact churches, civic groups, um, neighborhood groups in your districts, and let them know that these dumpsters will be in the same place that they were back in May. And every little bit helps. And if we can um, fill up these 30-yard construction dumpsters um, with, with trash that people bring, um, that's a good thing. The leadership of Keep Morehouse Beautiful is continuing to evaluate what we can do to motivate people in the city, in the villages, and in the rural areas of the parish to take more ownership in, um, in the cleanup effort. You know, we've spent um, tens of thousands of dollars in grant money to educate children. Uh, we have programs with the Morehouse Parish School Board that have been very effective. Unfortunately for people our age, as adults, um, it's hard to teach an old dog new tricks. So we've focused a lot of our efforts on educating children, thinking that as they grow older, they'll have a greater sense of community and trying to keep the community clean. We have our fall cleanup scheduled again for October 9th. We'll have dumpsters in each of the districts. Again, we ask you to communicate any way you can and, and ask the enterprise to help us uh, to get the word out to people in the community to take part. Um, we could do the adopt a spot thing that the state has become very effective with. Um, we will provide dumpsters. Um, Keep Morehouse Beautiful will pay the largest part of those. Uh, the Bastrop Enterprise today uh, committed to helping defray part of the cost. And we ask uh, the mayor and board, if you can, um, to contribute $312.50 uh, towards the cost of the dumpsters that will be placed in each of your districts. I thank you for your time. Uh, if you have any questions or comments. One. Yes, sir. Uh, last time, uh, when they had the dumpsters in each district, within maybe a day or two, the dumpster was filled up. And often I had a whole lot of complaint about the people in the community that are we going to bring the dumpster back again? You know, it's just going to be just one time only, or it's going to be maybe going to stay there for a week. Once it get filled, will right. y'all replace the dumpster? If you or I as individuals called waste management and asked them to bring that dumpster to our house, and, and I've recently experienced this with a construction project at my house, for them to drop that dumpster, leave it for a week, pick it up, take it back, and, and empty it, it cost about $600. Uh, waste management does that at less than half that cost for our efforts. Because we have limited resources, we're not able to leave them there beyond, you know, that one week or one weekend that each of you have one there on site. I wish that we had more money to, to, to do it more than twice a year, but we simply don't have enough money. And I want to thank Mr. McKee and the Department of Public Works because not only do the dumpsters fill up quickly, they overflow quickly. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, people will drive by and see a dumpster that's full, and it doesn't deter them. They roll their stuff out there and, and stack it all around. And there's really nothing that that, that y'all, as the city, can do, and but nothing that Keep Morehouse Beautiful can do. Any other questions? Mr. Rainwater. Yes, ma'am. Would you introduce your guests with you? I'll let them introduce themselves. Ladies. Lisa Change. Terry Foster. Bill Collins. Lisa Taylor. And each of those ladies does more than, than 
come to council meetings and come to check presentations. They roll up their sleeves and, and they help in their districts. And, and we, again, the partnership between KMB, the city of Bastrop, and the volunteers throughout the community is what has helped make our efforts successful. We thank you. And uh, thank you for putting us early enough on the agenda so that I can uh, go home and root for the saints. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was contingent upon your staying for the entire council meeting. <laughs> that was a trade-off. I'm teasing, Mark. Thank you. Thank you for all that you do to keep our community clean, and I can assure you that we are doing all that we can on our end to, to aid in that. Uh, it, what you're doing goes to goal number three in our recovery plan. So we look forward to working with you and doing what we can to support that effort because it is a part of making our community the best that it can be. Mr. Rainwater, you want to leave now? You, or you just feel bad? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be obvious. I'll let y'all get into a discussion. Then you'll tip out. <laughs> Item number nine. Authorize the mayor to make application on behalf of the city of Bastrop for airport layout plan update for Morehouse Memorial Airport. Brent Elton. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. This is basically uh, an application that we're making to the FAA for funding of an ALP update, which is uh, airport layout plan. And uh, the airport layout plan basically will give us a, a clear picture of what capabilities we have at the airport, what uh, basically an inventory of what we can do and what we have out there. And it will give us a good idea of how to market it or how to best utilize it. And uh, this particular project is something the FAA is looking to fund 95% of and then the state, uh, the LADOT, will pick up the other 5%. So this is a project that we should see you know, completely funded by state and federal agencies. Does anyone have any questions on it? Or just, just give us a brief enough what the whole plan consists of. What the whole plan consists of? It'll uh, consist of basically listing all of our airside uh, capabilities. It'll lay out exactly where all our buildings are located, where our land is located, how it can be developed. It'll give us an update of the runway length, the elevation, all the very precise measurements of uh, pretty much all of the airspace, uh, the approach slopes, uh, any obstructions or anything of that nature. And it'll uh, give us a forecast of the aviation industry over the next uh, 5, 10, 20 years to let us know where our airport fits in with uh, what they're forecasting as far as general aviation growth and that's not just growth in the nation as a whole but growth in our area, state, and nation as a total. It's, uh, I guess it would kind of, it would be similar to the master plan that the city has recently done just on a slightly smaller scale and really just geared towards the airport. Thank you. Yes, sir. At this time, I will entertain a motion for your authorization on item number nine. So moved. Second. Properly moved and second. Are there any questions? Discussion? All in favor? Uh -huh. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number 10, resolution 101348. Authorizing the city of Bastrop through its mayor to execute an agreement with LADOTD for rotating beacon at the Morehouse Memorial Airport. Brent Elton. Yes, ma'am. Uh, this uh, resolution would uh, basically authorize us to uh, receive funding from the state to purchase a new rotating beacon. And uh, currently, our rotating beacon is a bit outdated. It's an old design that uses a geared drive and what they want to do is update that to a belt driven design and this is a uh, an, update, or an upgrade that 
the DOT is doing all across the state. In a lot of places, it's uh, already been accomplished or they're, it's on the list to be done. And this is something they've wanted to do with every airport in the state to bring them all up to the same standard. I will entertain a motion on resolution 101348. So moved. Properly moved. Second. And second. Are there any questions? Yes, I have, I have one. Uh, yes, sir. Mr. Mr. Johnson? What's the difference in a belt driven drive and the one you currently have? Oh, the one we currently have uh, basically is an electric motor that is actually geared to the beacon assembly itself. So it's actual gears that are causing the rotation. What they're going to do is remove all of that and put in a system that has an electric motor with uh, belts to a pulley that will turn the beacon. And they believe it's going to be less costly as far as maintenance wise and should last longer because essentially the only things to wear out on it would be the belts. So it's, it's a good upgrade. Thank you. I got a question on is yes, the sir. city going to fund this or the DOTD? The DOTD will okay. fund it. We will we'll do the initial purchase of it and they will reimburse us okay. for uh, the purchase and installation. Are there any other questions for Mr. Elton? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Elton. Uh, Mayor, if I can, uh, I'd also like to add something about our perimeter fence project. Okay. Would that be okay? Yes, go ahead. Okay. That's, that's okay. It's an extension of, okay, the I'm subject sorry, that I we're talking I about. I didn't think to add that on there. Uh, but our perimeter fence project is substantially complete. There are a few items that the contractor still has to address, such as the right of way around the fence, getting that cleaned and cleared up so that we can maintain it, and also a couple of small items on the electric gate. But other than that, it is substantially complete and appears to be in good order. So okay. I did just want to let you guys know where we were with that. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Item number 11. Ms. K. King, Morehouse Economic Development Corporation. Thank you, Mayor Olive and City Council. And it's always a pleasure to come, and it's even been a great pleasure this month with this announcement. I just, uh, I'd like to say that with the announcement, there's still a lot of work to be done on this project to create a new industrial park, and I hope that everyone's patient as we go through this process and we want to make sure that we develop something that's in the vision of the community and fits the target industries that we have uh, as part of the redevelopment plan and we want to make sure that everything meshes together. It's going to be a lot of work for the City of Bastrop. I appreciate the City of Bastrop being willing to apply for the grant as it was offered and, and um, we're going to just keep working on this to make sure that we develop the best project possible with the funding. Uh, in the short term, uh, we want to continue to market the assets that we have. And of course, number one concern on most people's minds are jobs. And I'm sure that the biggest question that you get from your constituents is about jobs. And so that's a number one priority with our organization and I know it's a number one priority with Mayor Olive and as well as, as the City Council to make sure that people in the community know that we are concerned that it, it has absolutely been a beehive of activity this month. But activity is activity and if you're unemployed mm -hmm. it hurts. And I just wanted to, I, I researched some statistics that I'd like to share with you that shows and I guess consistent with the economy that we are having a, a slow but steady recovery that in June of 2009 our unemployment rate in Morehouse Parish was 18 percent. That is incredibly high. Mm -hmm. So in, in um, I, I might have misstated that, in July it was 18 percent. These are from the latest data. They usually run a, a little bit behind. In July of this year our uh, rate our unemployment rate is still high. It's at 14.6 percent. And uh, so that was 
down from June figure of 15.4 percent. So we can still see we can see a gradual improvement. And I know that many people will say, well, you know, that might be people that are rolling off of the unemployment roll. But I checked the numbers or the amount of people working, and from June of this year, we went from 9,922 workers to 10,102 workers. So we did have growth in jobs in well, people employed in Morehouse Parish. So I think that we're going to stay the course, we're going to stay steady, and we're going to continue to work at bringing jobs into the community. Uh, one of the other questions that I always get is about the Ditto building, and we have not given up on the Ditto building. I know Mayor Olive's been working very hard on it, and I did get a call this this month and, and sent information to a prospect on the Ditto building. So I just want to reassure people that the Ditto building is continuing to be marketed. We do consider that uh, an asset, one of the assets that uh, we will continue to promote. The slab thickness, eave height, and close proximity to residential structures continues to, to hamper that, but we haven't given up on it. We'll continue to promote that building. So that was, um, that was the, I'm not going to make a long laborious talk tonight, but do I have any questions about anything that might be going on in the community? Do you have any questions for Ms. King? Appreciate it. Appreciate your support, and I'll continue to support the city of Bastrop and Morehouse Parish. So, thank you, thank Kay. You. Item number twelve: Appoint a commissioner to the Planning and Zoning Commission. I would like to recommend that we reappoint Reverend L. H. McCullough through December 31st, 2010. I made a call to him. He had planned on resigning, but I asked him if he would stay on through December. 31st. This requires approval, Sandra, because he had issued his own. So at this time, I would ask that you would support me on reappointing Reverend McCullough to the Zoning and Commission. Motion. Second. second. Properly moved and second. Are there any questions? Discussions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you for your support on item number 12. Number 13, appoint three commissioners to the Historic District Commission. Appoint Gary Geis, reappointment of Ms. Susan Plunnings, and Ms. Joanne Young. At this time, I will entertain a motion on your approval. Motion. Second. Properly moved and second. Are there any questions? Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number 14. At this time, I will entertain a motion to adjourn this meeting. May I make a motion to adjourn this meeting? Properly moved. Second. And second. All in favor? Aye. This meeting is adjourned.